Hi everybody, uh, this is going to be the third tutorial uh, for the automation section that I'm making in my channel. Um, the curiosity of this one is that it's not a pre-made um, tutorial. I thought this filling tank and this queue of items, the counter one, we're going to start talking about those ones later on, okay? And in fact, the content we're going to probably include in this um, new tutorial that I'm going to make. And then these ones, I would say that they are a little bit too complex for being the next step. So I decided to add a big complexity, but not that big, okay? So how to solve, well, what is going to be the, the, the tutorial? That is what I'm going to explain. But the first thing I basically based on... Uh, I think it was this one, the buffer station, okay? I took the buffer station and I changed it a little bit. I decided to put here a pneumatic a cylinder to kind of reject some of the boxes that are going to be coming and that I decided that, for example, they're too big for, um, I don't know, let's say for the next run, okay? So we know that for some reason we have some problems and some boxes are coming bigger. And we want to uh, make a automatic system that is going to reject those big boxes or tall boxes and it's going to let the small ones to come. Okay, so in that case, we're going to separate boxes. There are different ways to make it. In fact, we'll make alternatives later. Okay, like for example, let me see, I'm going to say open. They even have some alternatives. I think separating a station, for example. Okay. It's kind of like a similar thing. In this case, it's a little bit different because it works with colors, not with just the boxes. Um, maybe they have another system here, for example. They could have different systems. Or even like we can use an assembler. And with sensors, we can make it separate. But in this case, I decided to make something kind of simpler. Which is going to be um, my... What I saw called quality station. I think it's a stupid name, but so what consists? Okay, what is this um, so-called quality or separating station? Well, it's just a few configures in this case three. We're gonna get for the first time in these tutorials. We're gonna get this um, cabinet where, in theory, they're gonna be all the PLCs, uh, all the connectors. Um, all the wiring um, relays and so on and is gonna have the switches to reset start stop and then emergency emergency sorry uh, for the whole system and at the same time it's gonna have the counter okay so yeah we're gonna also learn how to use this tool it's gonna have some sensors okay here is gonna be a one diffuse sensor you can replace it if you want and here gonna be two uh, retro reflector sensors okay in a different height okay imagine that here right now we have um, like a column like a metal one and it's going to support these two ones okay and then we have finally this sensor that is going the other sorry the um, cylinder okay the pneumatic cylinder that is going to be pushing the boxes that they are too big here and then letting the other ones come here, okay? We use a stop here, just to like, a pneumatic stop, that just to stop the boxes from continuing. If we decide that the box is gonna be too tall, and it's rejected, okay? These sensors we have is gonna separate from the lower ones and the tall ones, okay? The tall boxes, they're gonna, um, they're gonna cross through both beams at the same time. The small boxes are gonna only uh, across the lower one because they're gonna be they're not gonna be tall enough to be um, between this sensor and the reflector okay what boxes are we gonna use well we're gonna use non palette and we're gonna use the box M and the box L okay in the next video we're gonna try to explain Explain the coding and everything is going to be a little bit longer than the previous videos probably um, you're going to show how it works and we're going to show also what type of 
um, how did I design the coding for this example, okay?